Hi, in this video I have the Feel World LUT 7S monitor and as the name implies, you can use lookup tables. Now I have loaded some lookup tables on this SD card. I'm going to connect it to the monitor, I'm going to demonstrate it, I'm going to show you how to use it and then I'll also just compare it to the Vegas Pro renderings just to see what the comparison is like and if there's any correlation. If you're not sure what a lookup table is, you can think of it as something like this. It's basically a mathematical setting for things like brightness, color, color correction, saturation, and hue, and things like that, that you've preset, which you then load, and your software then applies those values to the video that you have. So instead of you having to go and change the brightness, the contrast, the saturation in each individual color, you can just use a preset and you can do this in post-production. And the beauty of that is maybe certain settings you want for certain types of videos or certain types of shots. But the problem is, is while you're videoing it, you might want to have a quick squiz at what it may look like once it's post-production or once you're at your video editing deck. So what the monitor is doing is it's allowing you to have a quick glimpse as to what it would look like if you're sitting at your, your video editing software. Right, now on this monitor, you do have a shortcut at the bottom here which says LUT on or off. Now, before you use that, you will obviously have to load your lookup table. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna insert your SD card, pins facing upwards. Then you wanna go into the main menu, I just double tap. Then you wanna go over here, and then you can see it says LUT import SD card on or off. So I just toggle it, and then it's initializing. And all I did is I saved the lookup tables on the root of this file. And you can see it's importing them, and I'll show you on the computer what it is that I've saved and a little bit about how I use them. All right, so it's loading them all up now. Okay, so it's loaded 35 lookup tables. Right, so now all I need to do is tell the monitor which one of these tables I want to use. So I'm just going to switch LUT on. Now that it is on, it lets me choose one of the lookup tables. Now just so you know, if you take the memory card out at this point, it still has it in memory. So that is a cool feature. So it has it in memory. So I've, I've preloaded them and now I've taken the card out. Right, so now all I need to do is apply the lookup table that I want. So if I choose Arabica, for example, then it is now on. So now what happens is you, you can see here at the bottom, you can turn it on or off. And you're probably wondering, like, what does it look like? So I'm going to show you now the different lookup tables and how it affects what you see as the viewer. Right, so there you see the LUT7 monitor and they built in LCD on my camera. I'm just going to turn this one down a little bit because it's pretty bright. So now what I'm going to do is load up one of the LUT settings. Now as you can see that it is currently off and I'm going to load up a setting. So I'm going to double tap here, LUT switch, I'm going to switch it on, right, it is on now. And I've already set it to Arabica. So as you can see it's got like a sandy haze overlaying the video. Now what is happening here is that when I go to my computer and if I was in the video editing software, if I applied the same light filter, I should get a similar or very close rendition of this video. Now you can see the video coming through on my LCD on the camera and you can see that it's pretty bright with a high contrast. Well here it's got a bit of a sandy look and if I switch that off, you can see that's what it was supposed to look like and when I switch it on, it goes like that, that hazy brown. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show it to you on the computer so you get an idea of the comparison. Right, so now I'm in my Vegas Pro session and this is the video which I took, which I videoed on my DSLR. So that's what it was recording. And by the way, it was this icon here is the icon for ecology. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the LUT filter across this entire track. So I'm just going to go and grab it. So I'm just going to add the filter now. I'm just going to go and say LUT filter. There we go. Right. So now I'm just going to tell Vegas quickly which one to apply. So I'm just going to go and locate it. All right. So there it is, Arabica. And can you see immediately as I apply it? So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to show you the image closer. So there it's applied. And if I take it off, that's what the camera recorded. And that's what the video looks like once I've applied this lookup table called Arabica. So you can also adjust the strength of that. You see zero all the way to 100%. Right, so let's try one more. And I'm going to choose one Zeke or Zeke, however you pronounce it. And let's see what it looks like. 
Right, so there you can see it. It's It's got like a slightly brown look now. Uh, it's subdued. It's almost lifeless. It's gotten a bit darker. Now, just to sum up what is going on here, I've preloaded the lookup tables, which the monitor, the Field World LUT 7S monitor is applying in real time so you get an idea of what it will look like if you were editing this so you get an idea of what it's going to look like post-production while you're still videoing all right so let's have a look at it on the computer right now we're going to apply the zeke lookup table right so there you can see the filter applied at full strength i can reduce it it's got like a dirty look yeah, zeke needs to take a bath all right, so there you have it. There you can see how to get started with your LUTs. Just something you need to be aware of is that when you do load the LUTs on your Feel World monitor, it might not be exactly the way it is on your desktop. And there are a variety of reasons for this. And I do have a video addressing that. Thanks for watching. Cheers.